Morning. Good morning. It's uh, 10.36 on 781 here, the 31st of January 2013. The 31st, so uh, we're 12th done with the year, 31 days done. Uh, they haven't been too great. I mean, the first seven were excellent, but... Uh, um, so I'm going to go do classes, and it's 24 degrees now. Yesterday it was, I think, 57. When I was coming in here in the morning, I was filming at the exact same location. So now we're 33 degrees below that in a period of 24 hours. And it actually ended up dropping all that temperature yesterday, um, mid-evening, 7, 8 o'clock-ish area. Um, snowed a little bit. It's not sticking on the roads. I don't think they salted anything. So I guess that's good. You can see my lovely traffic situation here that I get to deal with every day. I sit here and the road that I want, see that second stoplight down there, I want to turn a right there. I want to turn right. That's Lincoln Street, Lincoln Boulevard, whatever. Um, and then when my light goes green here, what can I do? I guess I can go up there and sit in the middle of the intersection like a dumbass, but I'm not really supposed to do that unless they clear out, which it looks like they may be. But there's just too many people all trying to do the exact same thing. Take Lincoln Street over to Summit Street and then Summit over to the student, the student center. That street needs to be, a, well, here's why. The main campus, the front of campus, used to be right over here. I'll film it when we get there. Well, the light's right. I'll still start another clip. But then they decided to move it to where they built the new library back in the 70s. So it kind of totally screwed up the traffic pattern that they had set up. Plus, this is a 25,000 people university now, and it certainly wasn't then. And there's a sticker, uh, LG, what's that stand for? Lake something New York. I like that kind. Is that not the coolest Starbucks you've ever seen? I think it used to be a place called Rosie's or something. I don't know, it's long before my time. But it's very cool, it's got the Dutch kind of thing. There used to be another building like that on that corner there, but they tore it down, I don't know what it was. So this is what old front, the main center of campus used to be at the corner here, and this is where they started building the buildings when this university was founded in 1915, I wanna say. And this library over here, that is, I wanna say Rockwell Hall, which used to be the main library, but then they moved it because it got too small. And that's why the center of campus changed. Yeah, and that's all the buildings I filmed in the fall that are really nice, old Greek architecture from the 1920s. They're beautiful inside and out. They've really kept them up nicely. That would be an F-33 series, 3.12 p.m. Out a little bit early today. We had a quiz. It was really easy. Got it done. Turned it in. I'm on my way home. It's snowing in 24 and absolutely miserable in every single aspect. Wow. It is, uh, snow's coming down. Stuff's turning white again, which, uh, that's how this winter's been. It'll snow a boat ton and it'll be down for a couple days and then it disappears and it's 60 degrees. And then it snows a butt ton again and then it's 60 degrees. Some call it a, it's a change of scenery. I mean, it's hell either way. Everything's dead. But uh, I'm going to the bank. It's 4:51. Uh, I need to make myself a deposit. Um, the Indiegogo campaign. Anybody watch Shea Tarts? Know what I'm talking about? A couple days ago, maybe two weeks at this point, he announced that uh, they're going to do a Shea Tarts slash YouTube documentary, and uh, he's trying to raise 180 grand in two weeks to uh, to fund that. You know, hotel, film crew, editing house, all that stuff. Uh, to, to make this documentary, which personally I would love to see, and uh, I'd like to pull my chain and do my own weight. So I made a light contribution today, so I gotta go pay for that now. Um, yeah, so I, I'm looking forward to that. I looked at their schedule, it looks like the post production is gonna be in the fall, so we probably won't see something about it for about a year. But um, yeah, I think it'll be good. So uh, there's only 10 hours left on the campaign. By the time this is up, it'll be over. Uh, I should have mentioned it earlier. Maybe some of you guys could have helped out. But hey, you know, they're really close though. $180,000, he's got 10 hours. So I guess that would end around uh, midnight, February 1st Pacific time. Here it's almost five on the East Coast. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, they have $172,500 so far. So they only need uh, $7,500. In the, term, in the time of hours, and I'm sure they're pushing it now that we're so close. So uh, hopefully they make that. I wish them luck and I look forward to seeing the documentary. He also said that anybody who makes a contribution uh, won't have to pay to see the film. They'll get a digital download and name and the screen credits. So there's a little bit of motivation, I suppose. Continuing yesterday's trend, we have a uh, Chevy Malibu up here with Michigan plates on the rear of it. And in Hudson, you really don't see any any out-of-state place you see are Illinois, Pennsylvania, Michigan, 
or Florida. For some reason, there's people here from Florida. Probably people have a house here in Florida because they are smart enough to have a house in Florida. Um, but Kent, it's the opposite, as you saw in yesterday's video. I count ten states a day that are as far as away as as far away as California. I've seen Alaska. Have not seen Hawaii though. In other administrative news, I was organizing my address book last night. I had like 250 contacts in there. Went through it, got rid of stuff I don't need, incomplete contacts that ended up being imported from Yahoo and Gmail accounts from years ago, and got it down to my core 120 contacts that I actually need and use in there. Um, and in the process, anybody that has produced content with E39 Source, I uh, listed E39 Source as the company, and it's not a company yet, but um, just so I can formally index them and know who they are. But uh, my point is, if you're watching the vlog and you have produced content on E39 Source, and I don't have your email, name, phone number, uh, you know, obviously don't give me information you're not comfortable giving out. But if you are comfortable giving it out and you don't think I already have it, then please do send that to me so I can easily contact you with the 39 source stuff. Um, I know there's a lot of people I don't have. There's a lot of people I do have. I have Tyler. I have uh, Andrew, your 2005 in Jersey. Um, Bobby and Colt, of course. Who else do I have? I don't think there's anybody else I do have. Um, Hassan, I have your information. And uh, the new guy, Brendan, right? I, I think that's right. Uh, that video is going up tonight. So keep, uh, you know, keep looking at E39 Source. There's several videos up a week now. Uh, Cole got a video up yesterday, air filter DIY in the 540. He went with a K&N filter that I have in this. I have two of them here. I think Bobby has them in the 525. Um, so stick up with that. We got another video coming up today. It's an introduction of, I believe, a 2546 speed from uh, Brendan or Brandon. I'm sorry, I haven't memorized your name yet. But I will. I will once I get you in my contact book. That is the first time I have looked for sunglasses in my car or on my face and not found them when I actually need them. Holy crap, uh, there's still tons of clouds, but the sun is poking through, which is a vast rarity in this state. But I guess I'll take it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the fuzz. There they are. Oh, look at that. Shaytards on Blog TV. What's up, guys? It is uh, 2.33 in the AM right now. I'm FaceTiming with Colt. Uh, let me hit a light here for you. Oh, that's off. That's on. And um, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up real quick. Today was somewhat productive. I, tardy, t I, I talked way too much in the car today. So I've been doing this. I got some dinner. I watched some TV. Uh, well, I did YouTube, not TV. The YouTube TV's big times on the 907. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Friday, day off. I'll probably get up in about 42 hours. Good night. And by the way, they reached $201,351, and there's still 26 minutes left with a $180,000 goal. Congratulations. That's freaking awesome. Amazing family.